when I finished year 12, I finished my VCE in Victoria and um, I, I was pretty confident on what I wanted to do and I wanted to go into university. Um, I, I worked towards that goal. I did quite well in my studies and um, yeah, I ended up getting into civil engineering. So I did three years of civil engineering. Um, yeah, after three years, I probably left it a bit late, but I, I wasn't really enjoying it. It wasn't, it wasn't really for me. I've always enjoyed tinkering with things. I've always been right into my cars, um, always pulling things apart, seeing how they work. So um, for me, doing a fitting and turning apprenticeship was perfect. Um, it's very much mechanical. It's, it's quite, there's always a logical process in, in what, how you go about doing, doing a job. I've always got my little hobbies, my little toys that I'm playing around with, and that has really helped me, you know, at home. Um, I'm, yeah, I've, I've been doing a heap of work on my car, just getting it up, getting up and running, getting it good. And I think without um, my trade background, I, I don't think I could have done it myself. Talk to as many people as you can. If you're interested in a trade, talk to people in the trade. Go to TAFE, uh, ring up a, a GTO, and they can always lead you in a pretty good direction. I'd say finish year 12. Um, I, I think that's that's always a big thing. Um, for me, it kind of, um, it really gave me a little bit more time to think about what I wanted to do. Like um, I may have not done, you know, my trade straight away, but at least going to uni, I knew that what, it wasn't for me. So I'm not looking back on it and um, thinking, oh, you know, what if, what if, 